the desert. A never-ending wilderness, barren and desolate. But even here, if you look closely, there's life to be found. These are yucca brevifolia, better known as a Joshua tree. This single tree could be hundreds, even thousands of years old. And that's because what you see is only part of the story. Underground, there's a massive network of roots going down to water, pulling that water out of the ground and storing it in the tree, keeping the tree alive, resilient to the desert wasteland. In the world today, one in eight Christians are discriminated against, oppressed, even attacked, just because they follow Jesus. They are desperate voices crying out in a dry land. When I became a Christian, my beliefs turned against me. I no longer belong. In China, the government installed facial recognition cameras in our sanctuary. That camera can gather the private data of our church members. They will intimidate them, they will prevent them from going to church. That means We know from this year's World Watch List that 340 million Christians live in places around the world where they are discriminated against or persecuted because of their faith in Jesus. That number is hard to imagine, hard to get your mind around. But we know that God is faithful. In the book of Isaiah, God tells his people, I will make new ways in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In midst of persecution, churches are growing more. Through the persecution, God is making the church grow. We are so united together like never before. We have a revival in our church, even in the severe persecution. God has sent a river into the wilderness, and His people are resilient. Like the Joshua tree, they're living boldly in the desert, and they depend upon the church, the roots of His family, for water and support. They are so encouraged by Christians from America. Pray for them, really care for them. It's like a body of Christ. When you read the 2021 World Watch List and let it touch your heart, when you commit to pray for your brothers and sisters who are persecuted around the world for their faith, you're helping God make rivers in the desert and helping His children to stand strong for Him. The prayer is the core. When you don't know anything, just pray. When you don't understand anything, pray. You will understand. Open Doors has been called into this work to strengthen God's people in the desert and to help them overcome the odds. Will you join us? <laughs>